Hey, Steve here, and I'm posting a video about how to secure the bar mitts to your bicycle. Um, I live in a big city and uh, love the product. Of course, it's wonderful for keeping your hands warm, but the problem I have is when I lock up the bike for commuting, um, there's really no way to secure it to, uh, to the bike. You know, you can see it's just the zipper here and then the two Velcro straps. So I'm going to show you today how I've come up with a very simple but easy to do uh, device that uh, can secure it to the bike and uh, it'll, you know, it's not the top security you're ever going to see, but it'll prevent people from, uh, from trying to steal your bar mitts. So as you can see here what I've done, and I've unzipped it now so you can see, is I've just put a couple of grommet holes in the top and the bottom and uh, ran a small cable and uh, put a luggage lock on it and um, that will secure it around the uh, the brake cable here and I'll show you how to put that on in just a moment and the basic supplies you need of course are a pair of bar mitts um, but you're also going to need a, uh, a length of three thirty-second inch uh, cable and this one is plastic coated to uh, protect the bike uh, you'll need a, um, an eyelet kit, which I got at a hobby store. That's to make the, uh, the grommets. Uh, you'll need these uh, 3 32nd inch ferrule and stop sets, which are, uh, create the loops to put the lock through. And then finally, you're going to need a small luggage lock. All right, so the first thing that I do is I take an awl and uh, poke a couple of holes into the bar mitts right here. On uh, right by where the, um, the two Velcro straps are, so we put one hole there, and I kind of work it around a bit, not too much, but you want to make that a decent size so you can get the grommet in. And then on the other side, I do another one where I poke the hole right behind where the Velcro pad is, and again, kind of work it around just a bit. Next. We take our grommet kit, and uh, the way this works is you take the, um, the long one, put it inside the hole so that it's just kind of poking through, as you can see there. And I put this little stopper behind it, and the instructions are all in the grommet kit itself. You don't have to. Uh, worry too much about this part. And then we put the top of the grommet on here. And you have to squeeze it out a bit. You have to stretch it a little bit. It uh, sometimes can be a little, a little difficult. You know, if you're getting that. And then you put the top piece on. And hammer and there you've got a grommet. Okay so we're going to now do the other side. Same idea. We put the backer on the first grommet piece and then we put the top on. Kind of stretch it around. So we put that on. A couple of shots and now we've got our grommets. So the next thing you want to do is grab your cable and uh, you're going to make two loops and the uh, first thing you need to do, and this is very important, first thing you need to do is put it through the grommet from the outside. That's the way I like to do it. And um, so you just run this through the ferrule right there. And then you're going to loop it back, and you can give it some more slack here, but you're going to loop it back, stick the other one in the other side of the ferrule. You can see that right there. So we're going to stick that in there. And this one you want it to just poke through a little bit. Because then what you're going to do is you're going to pull the long one, you're going to squeeze the loop, and you're going to, you're going to squeeze the loop, and pull it through so that it creates a nice small loop. Mm 
here we go. So you can see it's a reasonably small loop there. Then you need some kind of hard surface, usually something metal. I like this little anvil here on my uh, my little portable uh, vise. So you take a hammer and basically pound that a little bit and it makes it nice and tight and this won't come off now. Okay, so that's one side. Then what we're going to do is loop the other side again from the outside in and we're going to do something similar but now we're going to run it down the uh, the cable quite a bit so that we don't wind up with a very long cable. It doesn't have to be very long as you can see it's about maybe four or five inches from the grommets to the outer loop so uh, we're going to run this here and then put the other side in just like we did with the first one and we'll pull that through and again squeeze that loop as it comes through until you get it to the right size and just squeeze and pull and so there we have that and again we're gonna take the hammer and just pound that a bit to uh, cinch it down okay so now that's tight and then the last thing you're going to do is take a good set of hard uh, wire clippers and you can cut your cable just so that it's right there by that ferrule so then we just clip that off like that and now we've basically got the loop around the outside, the two grommets, and we've got the, uh, the small loops on the inside that we're going to be uh, attaching our lock to. So now we come over here to the bicycle. We put the bar mitt on like normal, or over the handle and over the brakes. And now what you want to do is take those two loops, put them on the inside of the brake handle. Put them on the inside of the brake handle. You want to grab your lock, get that on, lock it, snug that in there somewhere so that it's not sticking out. Put the two uh, Velcro loops on. Put the uh, the zipper on like you normally would and there you have it that's now locked on and so if somebody wants to uh, you can see on this one if somebody undoes the zipper and the velcro and tries to take this off they're going to run into this problem because it's locked inside your cable so as I said this is not ultra high security but it does the job and prevents uh, casual criminals from messing with your bar mitts. That's all for now. Hope you've enjoyed this. Leave me any comments if you like.